Hey, look, it's a golden apple. Here, cheer yourself up, buddy. Here, have a golden apple. There you go. Enjoy that. Yeah, I don't like this. There's giant shadow mannequins just kind of looking down at us. Yeah, let's just let's just go. I, I've decided that I want to leave. <laughs> Kian and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. Now today we're going to be checking out some more user made mods. This first one that we're checking out is called Walk and this is by Nicksonic15. Essentially this is designed to be like a free roam. So we're just supposed to sort of explore the entire world. I don't know if the neighbor will make an appearance but I can't help but notice that he is making strange noises. It's like laughing, he, sort of laughing, and then is interrupted by what sounds almost like a burp. What is that? It's very strange. All right, well, let's do some exploration here. Um, it looks like we have a crazy, like, shadow lock on the basement over here. I don't know. That's actually pretty cool. Um, let's go upstairs and see if we can find anything up here. Okay, we have a red lock on this door. That... That noise is very, very annoying. I might actually just turn the sound off altogether because it's it's just the same noise over and over again. So we've got a bit of a little like closet puzzle here. It looks like we probably want to get to the top of these uh, these shelves and hopefully, yeah, okay. I figured there's going to be something at the top. We found our red key. So let's use our red key get into this room yeah all right open up there we go uh, we've got a crowbar in here okay oh and a black key okay that is our shadow key that we were looking for can we actually jump out of the window here Let, let's see if we can nah it doesn't look like we'll be able to escape quite yet let me out of here look at these crazy looking glowing satellite dishes what in the world is going on outside okay that is very strange. I guess we could just break a window open, right? And then we could just jump out the window. I mean, we can we can totally do that. I don't know if I want to do that yet, though. I want to go back downstairs and use this black key to get into the basement. All right, so let's try this out. Just going to pop all the nails off of these wood slats. All right, and then let's use our magical dark shadow key. And uh, we'll, we'll go see what's going on in here. Let's get these stupid pieces of wood out of here. I can't help but notice that the closer that I get to this room, the more my game lags. So I don't know if, oh, it's, it's not opening. It's still locked. Oh, okay. That is very, very strange. Like a shadow neighbor inside of this room looking at a mannequin that appears to be very, very scared. All right, let's just get the heck out of here. Let's leave. Uh, uh, excuse me? Uh, the door is locked? Okay, I can't get out the front door. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that apparently I've been told that there is a kindly Kian Easter egg somewhere on this map. Do I know where it is? I have no idea whatsoever. So maybe we'll do some cheating to, to find it if we can't find it naturally. But I think that would be pretty cool if we could find it. Let's go in here. What? What? Oh, oh gosh. There's a lot of fire in this room, and there's a crying neighbor in the corner. Uh, this is all just very confusing. There's also a shadow doll. What is going on in this house? <laughs> I don't know if I want to be here anymore. Hey, look, it's a golden apple. Here, cheer yourself up, buddy. Here, have a golden apple. There you go. Enjoy that. Yeah, I don't like this. There's giant shadow mannequins just kind of looking down at us. Yeah, let's just, let's just go. I, I've decided that I want to leave. See if there's anything in these cabinets over here. No, it doesn't look like it. There was nothing in the refrigerator, or at least nothing interesting. Uh, we got a cabinet over here. Let's check this. Aaron, say what? Hello, hello. We got the 8-bit Ryan book over there, and we got a basketball. Sweet. Let's check these drawers. Niflick ball, Niflick ball, Niflick ball. All right. Okay, let's escape because I don't like it here anymore. There's weird stuff going on here. There's a lot of shadow creatures that I do not understand. So we can jump out this window just real quick. Let's just double check if we didn't miss anything. Okay, yeah, I don't think we missed anything. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, we have officially escaped from the house. There's shadow guys just flying in the sky. I don't like that. Of course, we have the glowing satellite dishes. <laughs> I'm not sure what they're doing. They must be very, very hot. Probably don't want to touch them. Uh, there's the golden apple, the market, way the heck over here. And can't help but notice that 
the laughing is not going away. It is still in my ears. I don't like this. All right, let's head to the market here. Let's just see what exactly is going on. There's, you know, of course, there's the shadow guys just kind of flying. Wait, there's more on the ground? <laughs> This is all very, very strange. Let's get a little bit closer to the action. See what's going on. I I am very confused by this. Okay, so we have a bit of a shadow thing party going on here. We have the old shadow thing, which is just like a flat image. And then we have the new animated shadow thing standing in the middle of a mob of old shadow things. And of course, above us, we have the the flying ones uh, this is just a strange scene indeed here have a shadow key i insist there you guys go now you're complete all right let's just go do some more exploring what is that why is it seems like there's like an oil coming out of the ground it's like a portion of shadow thing i don't know that is very very strange we need to go check this out i wish i could move a little bit faster though oh we've got another shadow thing in the forest it looks like it's kind of the same thing that was going on over here it appears that the old shadow things the flat ones do not like the new animated 3d shadow thing let's face it they're just jealous that the new one is bigger and better than them and so they're ganging up on him i, I feel bad for 3d shadow man or or maybe 3D Shadow Man is the leader of the Shadow Things, and he's actually telling them what to do, and then they're going to disperse and cause all kinds of chaos. Or maybe it's just a fun mod that somebody made, and it means nothing, and I'm digging way too much into it. Okay, let's move along. We're almost to the water tower, and I want to see this darkness that is, like, exploding from the ground. Why don't I see it anymore? Where did it go? We're almost at the top of the hill, and... I don't see the dark liquid that was shooting out of the ground. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it was actually behind the water tower. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my gosh, this is super, super weird. I want to know what is going on here. It's just a dark cloud of evil. What are we looking at? This is very strange. Oh no! Oh, it killed me. It cr <laughs> Oh man. Don't get close to that thing. It, it killed the mod. I'm not actually playing anymore. Now I'm back in like mod mode. I do have to say though, the nice thing about mod mode, don't have to hear the neighbor making that obnoxious laughing noise anymore. So I'll tell you what, why don't we just stay in this mode and just do some more exploring? Let's go under the map. Just see if anything is different down here. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Why is there an upside down mountain in this world? Is that a lake? Maybe that's a lake. We should head in that direction. Let's just see if there's anything inside of the school. It doesn't look like it. It looks like there's a little house nestled in this forest. So let's head over there, check it out. There's flying text. The choice is yours. Go to where you wanna go, no limits, no road to follow. Oh, was this is where you're supposed supposed to start this is not where I started okay that's interesting um let's go inside of here so yeah this is our starting house check it out we got a Rubik's cube in here okay I actually want to go back into normal mode and come to this house I want to check this out all right so we're heading back to the house we're back in normal mode we're back to our human body and of course the neighbor is laughing once again so that's super exciting I'm I'm glad to hear that he's alive and well so I started inside of that house over there but I guess technically your end goal is that house. So why are we starting at the end of the mod? I don't know, I'm confused, but that's fine. At least we get to check out this house now. So let's just do a little bit of exploring. Yeah, there's the blue key. I think the blue key is what opens the front door of that house over there. So yeah, we kind of did things a little bit backwards. That's all right. Let's just explore our house a little bit here. We, we've got a mini car. I love it, that's awesome. Here's our bedroom, very, very nice. We got a stack of Xbox ones you know because you can never have too many xbox ones and just use them as stands let's see if anything else is going on in here we can open up the refrigerator doesn't look like we have anything going on in there is that a microwave i don't remember a microwave warning microwave energy do not remove the outer cover oh the magic toolbox i missed you does it fly no it doesn't fly oh my gosh i made a video like probably oh wait wait 
it's still kind of crazy. Yeah, the toolbox in Alpha 2 is magical. I made a video probably almost a year ago now where we got the toolbox from Alpha 2 and we threw it around the map and it literally flies around like a feather. It's very, very strange. I don't know why the toolbox has those weird physics, but it doesn't look like it has exactly the same physics here in this mod tool, but <laughs> man, that brings back some good memories. Uh, it looks like we have a cabinet full of <laughs> flick baseballs. That's hilarious. All right, there you go. Have a blue key along with all those baseballs. Uh, but otherwise, it looks like the house is uh, pretty normal. Oh, did we check up here? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. Let's just check there. We got some flour down there. Let's just check the oven, see if we were baking anything. Doesn't look like it. All right, so this is basically where you would start the game. And obviously, we're not starting the game here, but at least we know now. All right, so let's go into ghost mode here and uh, let's do some more extra exploration of the map so we've already been up there we don't want to get too close to that thing because it kills our game for some reason um what do we have over here oh that's the school so we've already seen the school so let's head in this direction towards i guess the factory which is up on this hillside and then i guess this is normally where the lake is but there's no lake here it's actually faster to run than it is to use ghost mode. So I'm back into regular walking mode and we're just going to head up to the factory up on the hill. And then there's also this like super deep ravine over here. So let's check this out real quick. See what's down here. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just a really, really deep hole. All right. That's pretty stinking cool. Let's head up to the factory and just see what's going on over there. All right, so I'm back in ghost mode. I just wanna use this to be able to go inside of the factory to see if there's anything going on inside of the factory. It does not look like it. I do hope that one day the factory does have actual stuff inside of it, has an interior. That would be pretty stinking cool to explore that area. All right, so we have quite the journey across this ravine heading over to what I assume is the police station. I think we have decided that that is indeed the police station. All right, so I pretty much explored everything else in the map. I wasn't able to find my Easter egg, so that's kind of a bummer. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Maybe I didn't install the texture properly. I don't actually know, uh, but there is another section to this demo. We've got this, Walk Puzzle 1 Finish. So I wanna try this out. Let's load it up and see what this is about. Okay, this looks pretty creepy. Let's hit play and uh, let's see what's going on here. Okay, <laughs> oh my. Gosh, we are surrounded by giant shadow things, not to mention that there is a giant shadow thing flying up above us. This is all very, very confusing. I guess this is where you're supposed to go after you get to the end of that main level. I have no idea what is going on here. Let's go inside. What the heck? There's a dead shadow thing down here. What happened to you, man? Did you get shot? What is going on in this room? This is very, very creepy. Uh, what do we got in here? Oh, we got a blue key, so let's grab that just in case we need it later. Also, can't help but notice that I hear the neighbor kind of like grunting in the background. Okay, let's head over to this little room over here. It looks like this might have the blue lock on it, so it's a good thing that we picked up the blue key. So let's head up the stairs here and get inside of this little room. See what's going on. Ah, the dark shadow key is inside of here. Can we pick it up? All right, thank you. Before we open this up, let's just head over here and see what is going on over here. Looks like we got a carton of milk and we've got some coffins. Oh, this is real nice. Beautiful. All right, let's get the heck out of here. I don't like it. Let's go ahead, open this guy up, get inside. Can we, okay, yeah, we need to free the neighbor. Free him. Get out of here, dude. I can't get any closer. It's not letting me get any closer. Here, have a shadow key. I don't know. Oh, I just shot him. And it may have crashed the game. I don't know. Oh, oh, that was the goal. Okay, so we were supposed to shoot the neighbor with the gun in order to end the level. 
So that mod was pretty cool. There was a lot of stuff to see in there. I'm not sure if it was working the way that it was intended to work. I don't know. I seem to mess up these mods somehow every time that I play them. But regardless, that was really cool. I like that ending puzzle. That was very, very creepy with all the shadow things standing around us. I don't know. But let's go ahead and move on to the next mod. All right, guys. So this is a mod that I am very excited to be checking out. You could imagine that this is something that I saw and I really, really wanted to try. So I am stoked. This is Hello Neighbor meets Super Mario. You can probably guess I'm a big fan of the Super Mario franchise. You can tell by my outfit, right? I am super into it. Problem is I can't actually reach the mouse while talking to you guys. This is a serious, serious issue. I can kick the space bar. I can definitely kick the space bar, so that is sweet, but uh, unfortunately, my arms are way too short to actually play the game, so I'm gonna hand it off to someone who maybe is a little bit more qualified. Thanks for watching, guys. That was very stupid, and I apologize for that, but in case you guys don't know, I am a huge fan of Super Mario, and so someone has made a mod which recreates level 1-1 from Super Mario Brothers, which I think is awesome. So we're just gonna check it out. I don't know if we can actually, yeah, the problem is we can't jump high enough to get on top of the blocks here. How am I supposed to get the mushroom? There's a mushroom up there, I promise. So we're just gonna have to walk around some blocks here, um, but we have our pipes here, so let's uh, let's go down. Come on, let, let me down, please. Please tell me that there's an underground section to this level. That would be so stinking cool, come on. Which pipe would it be? I guess technically it would be this top one, right? Can I get down there? Oh man, I can't actually go down it. All right, that's fine, that's fine. I understand there are huge limitations to making a Super Mario level in Hello Neighbor, but I definitely appreciate the effort. Now there should be an invisible block here. Come on, let's get our extra life. There's no invisible blocks here, you can't do that. All right, jump the gap. What is this over here? Okay, I know this section, so there's a fire flower inside of this block here, and then there's a green Koopa walking back and forth, I think, on top of this thing. Or maybe it's a red one? I don't know, it's been a long time since I played the original Mario. Let's jump to the next gap. All right, we made it. We can't get on top of that. There's another power up inside of this block over here. I think, shoot man, I'm losing my memory. <laughs> it's not looking good. Nice, we got some brick uh, platforms over here. Jump across that gap. And then this is where you come out if you go in the underground section where you get all the coins. But uh, unfortunately, that section is not here. We've got a couple more blocks over here. And then we got the end. How do we get up here? We've got to stack these boxes. Let's do it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Get on top of the pipe. I like that. <laughs> we got over it. Let's get to the top. We want the top of the flag. Give me the top. Let's do it. No, I can't. The tree is in the way. No, it knocked me off. <laughs> Come on. We can do this. We can get the top of the flag. Can't help but notice that the neighbor is waiting at the end of the level. Look at him. He's just hanging out. Is he the final boss for level 1-1? One, one? I don't know. I can't actually make this jump. This is a nightmare. Please just let me get to the flag. Come on. Crouch down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That worked. Sort of. Can, can we please get on top? Oh, 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 don't fall. Don't fall. I think, I think that we're on top, more or less. All right, grab the flag. Let's do it. I apologize for that. I, I'm very, very sorry for that noise that just came out of my mouth. But we made it to the end of level 1-1 one, one in Hello Neighbor. That is a weird sentence to say. The neighbor looks super creepy in this lighting. Are you okay, neighbor? I don't know if he's okay. And then we drop down to level 1-2. Boom. I love it. That was awesome. Obviously, I recognize the fact that there are a lot of limitations to doing something like that, but <laughs> that's great. I love it. Let's just go back into modding mode here and just double check that there's no underneath section. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a lower section. If I knew anything about modding, I would try to make it myself, 
but I'm not nearly skilled enough to do that. Also, our player character has a green and blue shirt, so <laughs> I guess he's supposed to be Luigi. So in this universe, the neighbor is Mario because obviously he's got the mustache already going. He's a little squattier than our player character, so he looks a lot more like Mario. And then we are Luigi, the lovable brother. The super hello neighbor bros. I like the sound of that. Let's make that a real game. Let's bring this to life. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Almost forgot to mention this mod is made by Pikminator. Awesome, awesome job. I will have a link down in the description below so that you can download this mod or the walk mod that we played earlier. But guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Hello Neighbor. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the sides of the screen. No, that's not the way it goes. You're supposed to click the little circle under the camera here and then if you want to watch more videos you click the sides of the screen i really botched that one didn't i but anyways guys that's gonna do it thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time